Hey guys, I'm John B. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today we have an exciting unboxing for Yay! you guys. Unboxing. Love time. unboxings. We haven't had two, a live show in like two weeks. So I know. It's time. So we weren't going to wait for the next live show, especially <laughs> not because this bad boy came in. This is the new QNAP TS470 Pro. It's a brand new NAS device. Yes. So that means you can stick hard drives in it, put it in your network, yep. and do lots of cool stuff with it. Well, I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and start opening okay, it up. I'm really it. excited about this device. Um, now, this is the TS470 Pro, like John said. Um, we also will be showing you on a separate video a, a different version. But uh, this one has, has four hard drive bays, as you can see. Here we go. I just got right down into it. Yeah, no Actually, what else is in the box? Here we go. There's um, plenty of f uh, secure foam packaging, so that's good. It's not going to move around. I like that. And we've got all sorts of cables oh. in here. Whoa! <laughs> the you know screws. What? I, we, uh, are... These, are, these are the screws to mount hard drives in it. Yeah. And there's two different kinds. I suspect that's because Based on whatever you have. one is for SSDs and one is for normal drives. And then keys because you can lock it. And what do we have here? Nice. One Ethernet, yeah. two Ethernets. Ethernet. That tells me it's got two Ethernet ports, which is awesome. And then a disc for... Um, the drivers and stuff. All right, so as I was saying, yeah, four hard drive slots. Just pull that right out. Ah. It's beautiful. So um, very nice black and then shiny chrome stainless Silvery. steel kind of thing here. Not stainless steel, but. Yep. Let's see what we got in the back. What you got back there? I can't see. Okay, we've got a few things. There's an expansion slot here. Nice. We'll get to that in a second. It's got audio output and microphone input. Are you kidding me? Huh. What the heck could you run on this that you would use audio in and out? That's pretty cool. eSATA. So that way you could connect additional drives to the outside of this and use yeah. eSATA so you'd have a very fast connection. Dual Ethernet, which means you can either run them for redundancy or you can probably bond them together to get more speed out of it. A couple USB ports. It, it has an HDMI output. It's a NAS device with a monitor output and audio in and out. It's basic. What the heck can you do with this thing? I will look forward to figuring that out. Then two, did you already say two USB yeah. threes? Oh, no, I just got the USBs. Two right USBs there. and two USB, USB threes. threes. Nice. Okay. So you have a little now, bit of flexibility there. You know what that expansion slot's for? Um, 10 gigabit Ethernet. Nice. You can get a 10 gig Ethernet and then... This thing, it says on the box, it can achieve up to 982 megabytes a second <laughs> of it. throughput. That is a lot. I'm assuming that it will do that with um, SSD drives. And you know what else you can do with this thing? What else? Well, um, so you can actually run like a private cloud on this thing. Right. Um, so you have kind of storage on the cloud. You, you get put rid your of storage Dropbox. here locally and then get rid of Dropbox, have it wherever you want, which is awesome. It'll also run all sorts of apps. Like, take a look at this thing on the... the look at this. How many apps are there? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. You've got Facebook, you've got you can do, Apple stuff. You, you can actually Google run Challenge. Plex on here so that you can have all your movie collection and you can run it throughout your house. You can also... Uh, stream it wherever you want on yeah. the go. You, like you said, you can do the cloud thing. They've got mobile apps for accessing all of this stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, we've got an Intel Core i3 processor. Yeah, with two, two gigs, gigs of RAM. RAM. And uh, you already talked drives, about the, the USB 10 3, gig. 10 gig ready. Yeah. Yep. That. It's awesome. All right, guys, we're going to do a full on complete review of this. We're going to show you all the stuff that goes into it and, and how we'll to make it work. So, the question does pro really mean you have to be a professional or can you use it at home? Yeah, that's a good question. So, coming up later for you guys. All right. We're out. See ya. Bye.